Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Jamblicus from the Encyclopedia Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Jamblicus. It is strange that the old Masons, when inventing their legend, which gave so prominent a place to Pythagoras as an ancient friend and brother, should have entirely forgotten his biographer, Jamblicus, whose claims to their esteem and veneration are much greater than those of the Samian sage. Jamblicus was a Neoplatonic philosopher who was born at Chalcis in Calo, Syria, and flourished in the fourth century. He was a pupil of Porphyry and was deeply versed in the philosophic systems of Plato and Pythagoras, and like the latter, had studied the mystical theology of the Egyptians and Chaldeans whose divine origin and truth he attempts to vindicate. He maintained that man, through theurgic rites and ceremonies, might commune with the deity, and hence he attached great importance to initiation as the means of inculcating truth. He carried his superstitious veneration for numbers and numerical formula to a far greater extent than did the school of Pythagoras, so that all the principles of his philosophy can be represented by numbers. Thus he taught that one, or the monad, was the principle of all unity as well as diversity. The duad, or two, was the intellect, three, the soul, four, the principle of universal harmony, eight, the source of motion, nine, perfection, and ten, the result of all the emanations of the two n. It will thus be seen that Jamblichus, while adopting the general theory of numbers that distinguished the Pythagorean school, differed very materially in his explanations. He wrote many philosophical works on the basis of these principles, and was the author of A Life of Pythagoras and A Treatise of the Mysteries. Of all the ancient philosophers, his system assimilates him most, if not in its details, at least in its spirit, to the mystical and symbolic character of the Masonic philosophy. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment, and if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.